Understanding the smell of breastfed baby poop. Hello everyone. Today we're addressing a topic that many parents of newborns wonder about. Why does breastfed baby poop sometimes have a sour or vinegary smell? What's normal for breastfed baby poop? First of all, it's important to understand what's considered normal for breastfed baby poop. A newborn baby's stool can vary in color and consistency, but it's typically soft, runny, and yellowish. It can also have a mildly sweet or slightly sour smell, which is usually not a cause for concern. Why does it smell sour or vinegary? Now onto the main question. Why does breastfed baby poop sometimes have a sour or vinegary smell? This can be due to several reasons. 1. Dietary influences. The mother's diet can impact the smell of the baby's poop. Foods that she consumes can change the composition of her breast milk, and in turn, affect the baby's stool. 2. Digestion process. During digestion, bacteria in the baby's gut break down the sugars and proteins in the breast milk, which can sometimes result in a sour or vinegary smell. 3. Faster metabolism. Babies have a faster metabolism than adults. This means they digest their food quickly, and this quick process can sometimes lead to a stronger smelling stool. When should you be concerned? Although a sour or vinegary smell is usually not a cause for concern, it's important to keep an eye out for other signs of potential problems. If you notice that your baby's poop is consistently foul-smelling, or if it is accompanied by other symptoms such as blood in the stool, unusually colored stool, signs of discomfort in the baby, or changes in the baby's feeding or sleeping patterns, it's best to consult a healthcare provider for further evaluation. Remember, every baby is unique and what's normal can vary from one baby to another. A sour or vinegary smell in your breastfed baby's poop is typically not a cause for concern. However, if you notice other symptoms or changes in your baby's behavior, do not hesitate to reach out to a healthcare provider. It's always better to be safe than sorry when it comes to your little one's health. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope this video has been helpful in addressing your queries.